Hi everybody, this is Dr. V. I am trying this out as part of the Ask Dr. V segment that's new on Pod Curious, and I figured it might be easier or a little bit of a change of pace to do a video section as opposed to just typing up the answers. Um, so I got a really interesting question from a reader, Jessie, and she asked, would you ever allow a pet sitter to euthanize an animal? If so, why and under what circumstances? And then she went on to describe a case where she was pet sitting for a client's cat who became very ill and the veterinarian offered her the option of euthanizing the cat um, because he felt that the cat was probably um, going to pass away but they weren't entirely sure and she really wasn't comfortable making the decision and, and so she didn't and she wanted to know my opinion on that. Generally speaking, I, I think it's really important for pet sitters to um, have that be something that's very clear with their clients and for you as a client when you have a pet sitter, make sure they know if you're unreachable what, what you want them to do, what decisions you want them to make. Um, if you have a pet who's very ill but you know could potentially get better with some stabilization or at least you know make it through the night enough time for them to get a hold of you obviously that would be my preference um, and I think probably the preference of most pet sitters um, they don't really want that that burden of making the decision on on your behalf now if we're talking a pet who's been hit by a car and is obviously in a truly dire emergency situation then certainly um, I would you know, be a little bit more comfortable making that recommendation to a pet sitter. And, you know, I have been in that position and it is very challenging and I would say most pet sitters are understandably very reticent to make that decision. And so, you know, I think you did the right thing. Um, in this case, you know, the, the burden is really on on the owner to, to make it clear ahead of time so that you're not forced make, to make that decision. And in the case that Jesse described, the pet actually did survive um, and, and went on to recover, and that would have probably been a, a really horrible um, burden that she would have questioned herself with if, if she made that decision. Um, I don't think as a vet I would ever bring that up unless I felt the pet were really at death's door, um, and so I think that it's fine as a pet sitter to say, I'm not comfortable making that decision, let's just try and keep the pet stable so I can get a hold of the owner.